Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and modded character wise who we're gonna play as. Maybe we'll play as the Fiend. It's been a little while since we played as the Fiend here. Give him a little go um, and see what we can unlock. I haven't played Tainted Fiend in a really really long time. Uh, but then again, I don't know if I don't know if it's been fixed, and I, I'll have to try and find out. But I, I played Tainted Fiend like once when it when Fiend Folio first came out, and it was really, really, really laggy for some reason. Uh, so I don't know if that's still an issue. I haven't tried him since, so that might have been sorted out and fixed since then. Because um, it, it was an interesting character, certainly more one of the more challenging ones. I mean, normal Fiend here is reasonably challenging, anyways. Um, so we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try and leave those little flies alone to get more fires. We can generate health off of those fires and stuff, so unfortunately not. We got one half heart out of this room. I think that's pretty good on a room-to-room -room basis. Um, As for the question of the day today, baby. As for the question of the day today. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. Kind of worth it. Um, Hmm... Hmm. If you could run your own business, what would it be? If you if you were able to like if you were like you didn't have to worry about finances or you didn't have to worry about it making money or the startup money you'd need to, to do it, what would be a business that you'd love to do? Ooh, small rock off the bat's pretty nice here. Um what would be a business that you'd love to run? For me, I've I've always even the I've never, I've never been, oh, this is kind of an interesting room. I've never been, like, the biggest fan in the world of it, I've got to admit. But I've always thought it'd be, like, fun to run, like, like places that do events for, like, airsofting and paintball and stuff like that. Like, I feel like there's probably a lot of shittiness that you don't think about behind the scenes, but that seems like it'd be reasonably fun. Especially if you get to take part every now and again. Another Tinted drop there, lovely. Am I going to gamble for the card? Yes, I am. It's only a hermit. Okay, try and remember that Tinted Rock is there, because I'm sure we'll end up getting another uh, thingy here at some point. We'll uh, you guys make their way around. Easy peasy. Oh, that could have been a bomb we could have used there, but the game had different thoughts. Yeah. Try and get these two at once. <laughs> Literally split down the middle. Lovely. And a few mini Isaacs to help us along our way. Uh, do you know what? I might just be able to... Ah, bugger. I was like, maybe it's a secret room. You've got to try with those things. You've got to be hopeful. Oh, dude. Ugh. My goddamn thingy flies got the little white fly got pushed into me. Rather annoying. It's like a bit easier doing that. We we basically got back to the health we started at, which is a little annoying, admittedly. But hey her, hey her. I don't really know what I'm holding onto my hermit card for, particularly. Eh, do you know what? I think it's worth. Going in here and using a hermit card to get out, just in case. Ah, bugger. That is a bomb, though. That's nice. Got to stand, like, right here. <sighs> that is not what I was expecting, but hey ho. There we go. And then we can hermit card out. Um, Some decent stuff in here, but I think I'm just going to buy this for now. Which isn't particularly valuable, but it's... It's decent enough. Oh, you keep wasting my goddamn fires. I need to not tap shoot. For some reason, I'm tap shooting, and not a good idea, so I'll end up wasting my fires. Okay, good. Ooh, very good trinket as well. And then Crack the Sky, a very good boss killer. Uh, I'm going to take the damage to do this. Keys are pretty valuable right now. I'm happy enough with it. But yeah, Crack the Sky, pretty darn good um, as a boss killer, and just in general. And our rest of our item's good, our trinket's good. I'm pretty happy. Pretty darn happy. Unfortunately, I'm not so happy with the amount of things that are over rocks that I can't get to on this floor. They're tantalizingly close, but goddamn. Just not 
not quite in grasp. I'm gonna waste one bomb here. Yeah, I knew it was a waste. God damn it! I should have should have looked. Eh, no, it would have it would have fit there. Okay, I feel validated now. And I think that tinted rock was in this room back here. We, did, we also didn't check in here. Worth a check just in case. There it is. Not what I expected, but pretty good. Two of spades. Two of spades is keys. Yeah, we'll do that for keys. Uh, well, one penny off an item. I'd very much like to grab an item here because there was... Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to use my thingy on this guy. Thank you. Not going to use my crack the sky on this guy. It seems like a bit of a waste. Dude, we got we got hella hearts off of that guy. Let's just back out of here and back in again so that Poop can actually drop stuff and see if we can get a penny. Fortunately, we cannot. Uh, we got some HP. Devil Deal is probably a little bit risky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no for Devil Deal here. We got our penny. So a mysterious gift was in our in our thingy there. Um, I could just get a regular. I don't think I've ever used mysterious gift to just get an item before, like a, a regular item room item. But I think today might be the day because I'm probably not gonna get into secret room because of my my failures so far. I guess I could go back into cash room and maybe do it in there. Not super worthwhile though. I think I'm just gonna go for the item room to be honest. Grab it, and just see what we get for an extra item room item. We might get something good, it might be trash. It's pretty good. Gimpies? Oh, whoa. What the? Um, Not exactly sure what's going on with, uh, with our sprite here, but we seem to have a very long head. And some sort of strand of blood or something that only appears when facing down. I'm confused by uh, visually what's happening here. Apparently, wearing a gimp mask detaches our head. If anyone knows if that's happening in real life, let me know. But, I doubt it. I doubt it. Anyways, it's, it, it's visual. It is what it is. But that, that, was, that was pretty worthwhile. I'd say Gimpy's a pretty, pretty good payout um, when it comes to a character like this. Uh, and we've done Mothers. So we're going Light Path this time around, I think, by the looks of it. But yes. Uh, today I actually had a pretty decent day, um, work was pretty chill, pretty easy, and then, um, a, like, near us, and uh, near where we live, a new, like, um, food hall has opened, with a bunch of different, like, uh, what do you call them, like, sort of, sort of like food stalls, like pop-up stall sort of things, um, with a bunch of different various types of cuisine, and there was, like, uh, Vietnamese food, um, Jamaican, stuff like that, there was, um, Italian, um, there was quite a lot of, like, Chinese, there was quite a lot of different stuff there, um, I ended up going for Jamaican, and I got jerk chicken, um, and it came with, like, a bunch of rice, and then, yeah, like, jerk chicken thighs with a skin on, oh my god, it was very, very good, it was very, very good, so I had a, a pretty, a pretty good day of that, also as well, uh, two little things, one of them, um, basically, just got into a random food discussion on my Discord. Um, the, the, the kind of was a bit strange, to be honest. Basically, um, someone posted a picture that has been going around the internet of, uh, of a British meal from a takeaway that doesn't look very appetizing. And a lot of people dog on British food for just looking crap. And honestly, I'll agree. Loads of it looks terrible. Um, but... One of the said pieces of food in question had a rather, um, a rather terrible name that is the actual name of the piece of food. Also, I think I missed out on killing the brain guy that I did, yeah. Um, I'm not going to say it just because I think YouTube might demonetize me for saying it even though it's not in the same context. But it's an, a word beginning with F that is a de derogatory term towards homosexuals. Um, but it's, it is the genuine name of a piece of meat in the UK and of course it had been posted um, and so people saw that name and they were like, what the hell? <laughs> what, what, why, why is that word there? What's all that about? So I had to kind of explain that for some reason we have a piece of meat over here that's named that for some strange reason. I don't know how, how it hasn't been renamed yet. Like, it's, it seems seems like a bad idea to keep it with that name, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so th th there was that whole debacle. And also, I, I started up like a little sort of baby competition style thing. I won't say a competition, more of just like a friendly art 
um, sharing thing in my Discord. So if you're an artist or you do any art and you're not in my Discord already, or you are and you haven't seen it, go join. Basically, uh, as many of you will have seen, I've started playing Nuclear Throne on my channel again recently. Um, fortunate range down there. Yeah, I've started playing Nuclear Throne on my channel again recently, and I have custom thumbnail art for a lot of the characters, a lot of the vanilla game characters and a few of the modded ones. But there is like 10 modded characters that I don't have any thumbnail art for. Um, and I don't particularly need thumbnail art for them. It's fine without them. We can just use the, the in-game sprites. But I've basically put a thing on my Discord that says, if anyone wants to just have have fun with it and make some make some turtle melon based art of the characters, then I, um, I'd be down to use them as my thumbnails as long as they're not like <laughs> scribbled in a few seconds on paint or something like that. Um, I'd be down to use them, even if they're like of varying art styles and stuff. Because I think that's pretty cool. Um, I, I like having sort of opportunity to engage with my community um, and stuff like that. So if, if anyone's like, ooh, this is one of my rooms. Ooh, hello. Question is, do I want to leave Crack the Sky for this bad boy? Because this will disappear if I don't grab it now. I'm going to gamble. Crack the Sky is good, but I'm going to gamble. I'm going to hope that I get something better than Crack the Sky from using this. Uh, but yeah, so if anyone's like, just wants to, like, take a shot at it, like, I'm by no means is there any obligation, like, I said this is just something for fun, that I thought could be a kind of fun little community engagement thing, um, if people want to do some sort of, like, fan art thing that can, that can then be used on the channel, um, I thought it'd be fun, and there's some really interesting Nuclear Throne characters, so I've put a little chat together in my Discord with all, like, the characters and their sprites so that people can see them and know what they might want to make sort of thing. We can pick them, pick them from our lineup, essentially. I thought it was a good idea, anyways. I, I like, I want to do more art contests and stuff on my Discord. To be honest, I'd like to, I'd like to do more with my Discord in general. I feel like my Discord is kind of, I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. It's, it's fallen into a, a somewhat state of decay in a certain way. Not, not as if like it's, it's bad or there's like horrible people in there or anything. In fact, most of the people in there are quite nice. In fact, ninety-five, if not ninety-five percent, if not all of them, are, are very nice people. Um, but, but it's just, it used to be a lot more active than it is today, and I'm not quite sure why, but it would be nice to do more with it, but I, I, I'll be honest, just because I own the server does not mean I know what I'm doing, <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm doing with the server, and I don't, don't really know how I could drive people to it, or how I could improve it at all, uh, but I would like to, like, see more people there, I enjoy, uh, I spend a lot of my time, like, checking it and talking with people in there, and, uh, it's, it's always nice to be able to, like, engage with, um, with viewers and stuff, so... It is a bit of a shame that it's not super popular, but I, I get I get decent views on my videos and stuff and engagement in the comment sections, which I'm, I'm always reading. I, I'm, I'm a, again, at a current state in time, at a point where I haven't replied to comments in like two or three weeks, because it just is so easy to get, like, basically, I'm like, I, I say to myself, nope, I'm going to keep up with them every day this time round, and it's so easy to say that, and then I fall like two days behind, because... Uh, I get busy, and it's already a daunting task at that point, and then it, two, three weeks have gone by, and it's like, oh no, I've got so many to reply to now, but at the same time, I can't not. <laughs> I, I feel like I have to. Um, we do have the ability to go shop here, it's a little bit of a ways away, and we, uh, we've already done Bosch Rush and Hush, so I don't need to worry about time. Let's keep it going, send it back a little bit then, and see if the shop has anything of value for us. Um, it's not that far, actually. But yeah, so, if people aren't in it, and... They don't know why. How about you join? That'd be pretty cool. Because I will talk to you in there. And like I said, I'm checking it all the time. So what we got going on here? Membership card. Ooh, actually, I'm going to take school bag. Because now I can still take my, uh, I can still take my crack the sky. <laughs> Chuboy has found a loophole in the system. Although not really, because I found an exactly intended, um, it, like, an exactly intended, uh, interaction, but it makes me feel smart. It feels, it's one of those things, you know, where people, like, post a video of it and they're, like, 200 IQ moment, even though it's, like, one of the most obvious things ever, but for some reason, there's those, those, those moments happen in gaming a lot where there's, like, uh, sometimes when you do a thing and you just feel, I don't know, you feel like it's so, um, you feel like it's so smart and you feel like you've really done something and it's, like, actually, you kind of haven't. Anyways, let, let's give this guy his drugs. That's a lot of drugs that he gave us back. Uh, so PhD's pretty good, we've been taking pills on the regular, and two, um... I'll, I'll save a power pill. Pop the wild card now. 
My character has become even more grotesque. Um, but speedball, experimental treatment's a little risky, but I'm going to take it. I'm hoping for... I was going to say, I'm hoping for no fire rate down, but it gave me... No fire rate down, but it did be a damage down. So, not particularly happy with the damage down. Uh, my speed's pretty good now, but honestly, we're, we're close to spun now, so that is a bonus at least. A lot of these hearts going on. Power pill, I'm not exactly decided on what I want to use that for at this moment in time. We've got like no money at the minute, so it's worth playing with this. I know it can hurt me, but it can also give me an all stats up, which I think is pretty valuable. And a luck upgrade as well. These pennies can be really good. And or really bad. Okay, we didn't really gain much from that. We'll pop this guy. And go in here. Blood clots, good stuff. Stain is also not a particularly hard boss for us here. Although a slightly lower damage does put a downer on things. Does put a certain downer on things. Oh, you bastard! He like locked me in there. I mean at least now we have our small army going at him. That's good at least. Ah, bugger. I tried to, I tried to bomb him there and I, I just mistimed it. This guy's really goddamn hard to, uh, to hit correctly and our buddies aren't really staying on him for long enough to do enough damage. And he's about to start diving across the room like a madman, isn't he? Come on, you. Take the hint and die already, big boy. Come on. There you go, we got him. Took a bit of doing, but we got him. Got our health back as well for the most part. Extra little penny there as well. Of course, I was like, why, why do we enter in a room with combat here? But of course, that's what happened, because we entered in through the secret room, not the real door. Ah, oh, really? Put a heart back over there that I couldn't get. A little bit of a shame. Really hoping for a damage up of, of some kind from our uh, item room here, considering the damage we just lost from experimental treatment. For heart, there's nice. You know what? I'm gonna come in here and then power pill out. Sorry, but that's this isn't it. Oh, that was a little. Maybe I should have power pilled the the dude first for a little bit and then got out on the last few iframes. But I thought it was unlikely I'd get anything from doing that. So, right, what you got for us? Nothing good. Eh. Golden teleport is better than crack the sky. Actually, we can hold both. So. Never you mind. Never you mind. Okay. I can make Golden Teleporter work. Somehow. You crack this guy, I'm basically going to reserve pretty much exclusively for bosses at this point. Ooh, hello. It's been a while since we've seen one of you that we can actually open. Unfortunately, a little bit of a shame that we uh, didn't get one that contained items. But still, some decent stuff in there. Some decent stuff. We got our keys back as well. Open pretty quickly. It's always nice. Steven floor. Uh, I guess I guess this is worth it. Especially considering we might get a pill, yeah, which could be a positive pill. Unfortunately, it is a positive pill. Uh, we do have PHP, P, PhD, but it's only pheromones, so we're not gonna get much out of it. Can you? Oh, can you stop, my good lad. I do like the sound of picking up all of those at once. Okay, this is probably a room where Crack the Sky is reasonably valuable. Oh, what the fuck? There's a minion in there? What just happened? <laughs> where the fuck did that fucking minion come from? <laughs> oh, Fiend Folio never ceases to amaze. What the hell? Where the hell did that minion come from? I'm guessing that's just like one of those things where it's a super rare chance. To happen. That was pretty funny though. Pop in here. Oh, unfortunate. 
grab the coins first before he fucking gets his children to suck him up. Really? Oh, crack this guy can be so good against bosses, but obviously it's got just as likely chance to do literally nothing. From this boss, we're really going to need a fire rate increase or a damage increase, because otherwise things are going to start getting rough pretty quick for us. Okay, try and take out his babies before him now, because otherwise they'll just suck up all the money he spawns. <sighs> You're a dick. All the money he spawns. A whole four cent. Wow. Oh, dude, I keep getting the hearts when they're too far away to grab. There you go, that time we got one. Lovely. Okay, I made you watch walk straight into the spikes. That was good of you. Let's see how this works. Okay, this is good. This is good. Because Golden uh, Teleporter is going to be active pretty much all the time. Like, fully activated. Pretty much all the time. And then crack the sky, we can just use as we need and then switch to this. So we've got a mostly permanent way to keep that going, which is really nice. Okay. Bit of an iffy room here. Don't really know what's going on. Some weird faced goobers going on here. Slightly hard to follow. Seems we've got the, the normal boss version as well as the, the enemy version from whatever mod it's from. Fiend Foley, I'm guessing, but I don't actually know. If only there was a way we could take advantage of the, all these red hearts, because Gimpy is dropping them like crazy. It does seem like sometimes they're dropping as, as the uh, fiend hearts, though. I will pick that up so that I can... Oh, I thought that dropped a thingy once. Doesn't matter. Uh, we need to find ourselves second secret room here before we go in here. Did you have to? Right, range up isn't really something great, but I'll take it. Okay, we found it. Very nice. Any rooms we've not been into yet? No. There is a spin down dice over there. The only way we can get to it is with this machine. Oh, fuck's sake, there's a fire there. Good old bit of spin down there, I'll take that. Righty her then. Come in here. We'll po oh, every goddamn time! I always forget this boss can't be hurt in his initial phase. Literally every single time I fight this goose, I goddamn forget. I'm not a big fan of this fire attack that keeps boxing me in. Luckily, he's pretty much dead now. We get our angel deal. Good, good. Wire coat hanger. Is this some kind of sick jerk? <laughs> we haven't done Mega Satan, so we can at least kill this guy. I guess it's probably better than, uh, than Crack the Sky, really, because it's going to be better for bigger bosses and stuff. But I will take it. It's not, obviously, Angel Deal worthy, I'll be honest. Not what I'm hoping for, I'll say that. Let's say that at least. Grabeth, Grabeth. And then, yeah, we grab that. So now we've been... Let's let's take a little look here. Oh, we could spin that down into flight, maybe? Is it worth it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out for something better. Right, we've been everywhere here, so I think now it's teleporter 2.0 time. We did get error room, nice. Unfortunately, didn't particularly get a good error room, I'll be honest.
Like what? Uh, okay. I was very confused by how I got out of this room for a hot minute. We got there in the end. Okay. We got there in the end. I was really confused then. I was like, hey, hold up, wait a minute, there's no way out. There is. There is. I'm just stupid. Spider Babby. Spin down isn't even that good. Ugh. We're having a lot of struggle bush runs at the minute. Where... Well, well, like, the start is pretty decent, and then it just kind of falls apart. And the, the, the weird thing is, this run isn't really even like that. I mean, take a look at our HP. Our HP is not is, is in a pretty good spot, honestly. Let's just fuck this guy up with... I got hit anyways. Does someone want to explain to me why my Ragman, or Ragmega, or whatever the hell he's called, just killed me? Literally, he is the picture in the death screen. There was nothing else alive in the room, at least from what I know. I, I'm going to have to review the footage, but I think he just killed me. That is, um... Not what I was expecting, let's say. Yeah. Intriguing. Certainly intriguing. Uh, don't really know what to say about that, but yeah, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a rather balked episode there. was not expecting a death so soon. Uh, especially not to that, of all things. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.